Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting video that I hope will get you all in the spring mood and that is going to be my top 10 spring essentials. I did a video similar to this last year and you guys loved it so much so I thought I would do one this year and share all of my must-have items like essential pieces. So I have accessories, I have some clothing and just a whole variety of things. I have you covered and this is going to be like the core to your spring wardrobe. And before we get started, if you are new here to my channel, my name is Karen and I make fashion and lifestyle videos here on YouTube and consider hitting that subscribe button down below because I like to make a lot of try on hauls and even some lifestyle videos like some routines and everything like that. So if you like those types of videos, definitely consider hitting subscribe and also give this video a like if you enjoyed it and you thought it was helpful. By the way, I don't know if you could tell from the lighting here, but I'm having a little skin issue on my like chest area and like my neck. I don't know. It was, must have been a combination of like dry skin and self tanner and that does not mix well. So if you could see it, just kind of ignore that. So the first spring essential definitely has to be a cute sandal. I'm going to share with you guys two pairs that I love and wear all the time when it's spring and summer. I have a more neutral option and a more fun pair and both are extremely comfortable, well-made and will go with a lot of your wardrobe. So here they are. We have a neutral pair and for my blush lovers, we have this pearl and blush color, which I'll get to in a second. So this pair right here are both slides. So I got these last year. And when I say that I like lived in them, like I literally wore them with almost every single outfit that I could like, and they went with so many of my outfits because they're neutral, like they're nude with maybe the slightest tinge of blush, but not really. They're like, I'd say they're more of a nude color. Um, in certain lights, I guess it just depends. For wearing them, like the amount that I did, the condition like on the exterior right here, I mean, they have like wear, like normal wear inside right here, but on the bow section with what you do see, they look like they're brand new. Slides are so easy to just slide your foot on literally and go. So they're just kind of like a no brainer. And I feel like they are just the staple piece to wear with dresses, denim shorts, like dress up, dress down with them. And the second pair I'm gonna share with you guys, if you want a little bit more of a fun pair, like add more of a statement to your outfit, which I think is also an essential piece. If you're doing more of like a white jean and a basic top, this really adds a little bit of glam to your outfit. So here's a little close up of them. I believe they come in some different colors. So um, definitely check them out. They have a very comfy like velvety feel and with a little bit of a leather underlay to them. So they're very comfortable on the foot. They're not gonna rub. I mean, they didn't rub for me at least. I know every shoe is different for everyone, but for me personally, I did not have any comfort, like discomfort issues with them. So that is definitely a plus. We'll dress up any even like casual look and then wear these. You could wear them to dinner um, on vacation or in spring or for any like event like if you're going to a graduation a bridal shower baby shower there's so many spring events like even easter like these are so cute and they're dressy enough to where you could be comfortable but yet still super stylish and cute and with spring comes a warmer weather and just being out in the sun a little bit more and sunglasses are a definite must have and i have two like staple pairs i think are two shapes that are pretty universal um so this is the first pair this is a round sunglass this is from ray-ban and i have to say these are so flattering i've tried so many different pairs of round sunglasses but these are very flattering and they elevate your look to look a little bit more trendy and fun, but still staying classic, like a Ray-Ban style. Um, they're not gonna go out of style. They just have that classic look to them. I have like the gold detailing on it. And it says online that these have like a green lens to them, but I was a little hesitant to buy them because of the green tint that they said they have, but I really don't even notice it. It's more just like a light, like black to me. Like, you know what I mean? It's not like stark black, but it's kind of like not in your face. You know what I mean? Tortoise is also another great option. I feel like they just are a little bit dressier. Not, I don't even want to say dressy, but they could pass for if you're going to like more of an event. I'd say these like are a lot dressier. So these, oh my gosh, the lenses are so dirty. Um, I should have cleaned them. Brought these on my vacation with me last time and I guess I didn't clean them off when I got them, brought them back home. So, but we're just gonna ignore that. If you, I don't know if you could tell, but this is what these look like. These are more of like another like great universal sunglass option. I'm trying to like keep my head down a little bit so I don't reflect the lights so you could actually see these sunglasses on, but I really love them. I think they're so flattering again and I'm really picky with my sunglasses 
and they also have to be like comfortable and they don't like none of these like slide down like when you put your head down so i have the ones with the gold i'm not sure if the gold are still available i will link them if they are but um i think they have like a silver option so definitely consider either because i think silver also is pretty for spring because it kind of is brighter but either way it's really great um sunglass option and i know these are more affordable they're by the brand lispec which is more affordable i mean either way though i mean these are a really great investment piece like i wore i reached for these the most on vacation like the round ray-ban ones but these are also another great option. I'm also gonna link below some other affordable options with everything. Okay, let's talk about kimonos and cardigans. So I feel like these are a staple in your wardrobe, especially depending on where you live. Spring could be a little chillier for some, spring could be really hot for some. So it just depends, but I what I do think, it, no matter what, whether you're in air-conditioned places, I always find just having a lighter cardigan or a kimono on hand is always like essential. So I'm gonna share kimonos. I love a good kimono because they kind of double as, you know, your lighter cardigan. They're like the spring and summer version of a, like a winter cardigan, but they double as a cover-up as well. So you can wear them with your bathing suits. So I feel like it's multi-use. So here's two that I really love. Here's the first one. It's a floral kimono. I wore this on vacation just like with a tank top And I think it was really simple and cute and it had like I wore it with denim shorts and then we have this one right here and then I have like this pink one they brought it back this year which I was so excited about so I will have them linked below for you guys and it has like a little cinched waist too which is very nice it's just flowy and effortless and it looks super chic and cute and adds a little fun pop to your outfit I feel like they're very elongating too which is nice and flattering so we have those and then a cardigan option if you're gonna travel on a flight or something I think this is the perfect cardigan for flying or traveling and you want to stay a little bit warmer this is a long line cardigan and it has like a slit down the side um and yeah it's in this gorgeous blush color it does come in a few other colors if blush isn't your thing but it's totally mine so of course i picked the blush and i love it it's a very soft material it's not super heavy okay i do want to add in another two items into this category so jackets just in general like denim jackets and a rain jacket we have a denim jacket which is literally a staple in anyone's spring wardrobe like everyone needs to have a good denim jacket that's very flattering and like a great wash and i literally found the perfect one i got this last year and i have been wearing this one non-stop like it is such an amazing quality denim jacket and the cut of it is very flattering. Like I will layer this on top of like any sundress, um, like the tank top and a skirt or whatever it is, this goes so perfectly. And for days when it's raining during the springtime, I found this raincoat and this is from United Monograms and I have my monogram on it, but it is so cute and you can personalize it. You could choose any color coat and change the color of the thread on your monogram and you could kind of customize it to your taste and style. So, and it has like this little reflective material here on the front and then on the back, you could see right here, which is a nice feature. And it has of course the hood and the pockets are lined with a little bit of like a fleece, kind of like a thin fleece lining it feels like. So I wanted to share because I thought this was so cute. This is a size extra small and it fits true to size and I love it so much. And the color combination just screams spring to me. Next essential item for spring is jewelry. Jewelry is such an easy way to switch up any outfit and just make it different. So I have some statement earrings, some necklace options and a bracelet option for you guys. And earrings are one of the most like fun ways to switch up your jewelry. So I'll show you the first pair and I have literally worn these so much. Um, and they are these palm leaf earrings. Show them right here. So this is what they look like. They're just a blush, very faint pink palm leaf. And then it has like the gold circles. And I literally have worn these so much on vacation. If you see my vacation lookbook, you'll see me wearing these so much. And I think they're just so fun. And if you wanna add, I think adding a pop of color to your earring is really nice because it just like makes the outfit, like especially if you have like a plain top on, throw on a fun earring and you just totally like put together a really 
nicely like styled outfit without too much effort. I found these under, I wanna say they're under $50 and they're just a bright pink. Now, I don't know how these are gonna come off on camera, but these are pretty, I will say they're more like on the neon side of a statement earring. I mean, they may be coming off like toned down color on camera, but these are like your bright, like earrings, so they are gonna make a statement. I think these look so cute with like a white eyelet top, but um, there's so many ways, you know, to wear these. I think just white though, in general, looks really pretty with these. And then I'll put this next bracelet on. So I got this bracelet from Kendra Scott and it's part of their new spring collection and it is absolutely gorgeous. It is gonna be one of those pieces that is gonna be a staple. So this bracelet right here, if you could see it. And what I love is that it has a clasp, like your regular kind of clasp, but it's adjustable. So then you could just kind of go like this and you just like easily and like quickly put it on. So I love it. I love it by itself. I love stacking um, other bracelets. I'll do like my Miranda Fry bracelets. This one is an arch bracelet. I'll have, I have a Miranda Fry coupon code, but I'll link below my favorite Miranda Fry pieces that are like staples. I have this like bamboo bracelet on, um, but Love adding like a really pretty bracelet in the white. We'll just go with so much. And then if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that these necklaces are of no surprise that they are like an essential because I've literally been wearing them so much. Like you could see them right now. I have two of, of the three on right now. So it's like this disc layered necklace set. It's a set of three. And I have to say that this is gonna be like your go-to set of necklaces because it is so versatile. It's simple, but yet makes a fun statement at the same time, if that makes sense, because it's not like in your face, like bold, but it's delicate, but the little like disc, like in the light, like when it hits the light, it sparkles and it looks so layered and styled and super pretty. And I just love that about it. It has like a couple of them, like the disc in place of the disc, it has like a little crystal, but the rest is pretty much all disc. And it's fully adjustable, you could see, there's like from here to here is all, this is like the adjustable section here. So you can make it longer, you can make it shorter. This top one though is like the shortest one. And then I believe that this bottom one that I'm wearing and this one are like the same size. You could just adjust one like shorter or longer. There are so many ways wear one, wear two or wear three. Next is denim shorts. And one pair that I automatically think of are these A Goldie shorts. I mean, I'm gonna share a few other options with you guys down below if this is like style isn't your thing. Some other great like denim brands that um, are like really top rated and stuff like that. So I will list those below. But I will say that these are well worth the investment if you're looking to like get these for spring because you will wear them all through spring, all through summer, and they just look so cute. They're very flattering. I know they're like really talked about like all on Instagram and stuff. If you follow people on Instagram, you probably have seen a lot of like bloggers talk about these and these are really worth the hype. I could see why they are like the number one seller in denim shorts because they are that good. They are like top rated. Um, these are, again, these are the A Goldie jeans. As far as sizing on these shorts, I size down one size. I'm usually a size 25 in most jeans, like Hudson jeans, even like Old Navy jeans. It's basically a 25 or a zero, um, just depending. So most brands I am. This one I got a size 24. They are even a slight bit big on me. So you may have to size down one to two sizes and these don't have a whole lot of stretch to them. So kind of what you get is how it's gonna be. It's not gonna stretch for you or anything really much. I mean, maybe the slightest bit will over time stretch out, but I would go down a size or two, maybe order two sizes and compare, and then that way you could return a pair. Up next are wedges for spring. I think those are such a great shoe because they dress up your look with still being like a little bit of a casual vibe to it, which is really nice. So you could wear it with sundresses, denim shorts, jeans, you name it, you could wear wedges with. So I think a great like quality pair is always nice to, you know, invest in. I have a really inexpensive option that's like a designer dupe and I'll show you in a second. But first are these, which I've had for over a year now and love. I love how like darling they are with the little eyelet detail and they are pretty high, but they have like a, like a platform to them. So they're not gonna be like hard to walk in. Like I find that they're very a, a very light wedge, which is also essential because when wedges are like super heavy to walk in, it just 
feel super cumbersome. I, don't know, I just don't like feeling weighed down by wedges. So I love these and they fit true to size. I have these size eight. And then I recently got these and you're not even gonna believe where they're from. Um, I got these from Walmart and they are such a cute pair of wedges. They look like a designer option that I think are like $100 or something on Nordstrom, which I've heard really great things about. But if you're looking for a less expensive option, I've already worn these and they feel pretty comfortable so far, so good. Up next is your staple spring handbag. And if you've seen my last few videos, this will be like no surprise to you, but it is my Claire V around straw handbag. When you think of like a straw handbag, sometimes you may think that it's a little uncomfortable. And this is like very comfortable. Uh, it does not have like scratchy really handles at all. And the shoulder strap is made out of like leather, so it's not, um, you know, gonna be uncomfortable. So this is like the shoulder strap here. It is removable. Um, so you could wear it on your shoulder. I've worn this even cross body when I was traveling before. So it is really handy. Wear this on the crook of your arm. And so there's like three ways to wear it. So that's really versatile and nice. And it does hold quite a bit. Next, we're gonna talk about some essential tops for spring. And those tops include eyelet, gingham, and just some light gauzy material, which I feel like is just an essential in any spring wardrobe. So first up, we have gingham. I'm gonna just do a whole link of gingham tops that are some of my favorites that I find online for you guys, because one may not necessarily, oh, one may not necessarily be like your style. So I'm gonna give a bunch of options in case you wanna check them out. So this is one I wore on vacation. This is a little bit more cropped. It's not technically a cropped top, but it's a little shorter. Um, so this is cute for like spring break or just on a vacation. I think this is super fun. Um, so it's like a black and white gingham and it has like a little tie detail as well. Up next, I wore this on vacation as well. And this is a gorgeous white eyelet top. I wore this to Disney actually. And I think it's super cute. Um, in the back, I would say a little tip is wear a white bralette, like, like a bandeau kind of bralette situation um, because you could see, um, you know, in the back it's a little bit open. So I just wore that over my strapless bra and it was like totally fine. So that's just a little tip right there for you guys. But I love a good white eyelet top. I'm gonna link some other white eyelet tops that I love. But it has, this one has like a peplum detail and it's very nice quality and for the price, like I think it's under 50 or around $50. And then the other top I wanna to talk about is the one I'm wearing. This is like a very light gauzy, just blush pink top. I love it for spring. It has like a gorgeous like ruched neckline here and it just opened like v-neck here so you could show off some of your jewelry and i just think it's so pretty i wore this out to dinner um on vacation and it was just like a light material always great to have a spring like sneaker in your wardrobe and these really aren't like exactly just for spring but i feel like these are so bright and like nice for spring so i think a good tennis shoe is good to have in your wardrobe to wear like t-shirt dresses and pieces like that and for travel so i wanted to definitely mention these and these are my adidas superstars i have them in the gold um a lot of you told me that they have like the pink color and i am eyeing the pink and that's on my wish list but um yes i do have the gold because i just feel like it goes with a lot so this is what they look like and i just think these are a great staple i size down one half size I got the seven and a half in these and they fit perfectly and the last spring essential are hats I love a good hat just to like add to any outfit I just think it elevates the entire look and just makes it super cute and fun um, I have this hat right here I got this from Nordstrom I want to say and I got this before vacation and I wore it a lot on vacation and I think it's super cute it has a black band so it's very neutral with a lot and then I also got this little floppy hat it's not super floppy or anything but this was really inexpensive too so these are both affordable hats that I would say are essential like one that has a stiffer brim and then one with a floppy brim just like wear as like a more beachy look wear it like to the beach or the pool or even just like with a sundress I think this would be pretty this one's more like a statement like wear with a top and denim shorts or something like that for more of like a stylish look I think I'm gonna keep this hat on I think it looks cute with this top actually so that is gonna be it for my top 10 spring essentials I hope you guys enjoyed it and found some new pieces to add into your spring wardrobe so I'm gonna have everything linked down below for you guys in case you want to check any of it out and that will be like easily laid out in the order that I talk about it along with some other suggestions for you guys as well let me know down below in the comments what your favorite piece was so that is gonna be it for today's video and i will see you all in my next one very soon bye